Hello everybody. So we are back with yet another session. So here we have completed successfully completed two units of your HRM in global perspective. Just for your revision, the first unit was all about introduction to your IHRM, and your second unit we have completed the global functions that is my HRM functions, recruitment, compensation, performance management, and all sort of things with regards to global market. Now, in the third unit, you people must have already gone through your textbook. We are going to talk about expatriation and repatriation, a terminology which is very much specific to your global HRM. If you, the moment you talk about global HRM, the first thing that strikes your mind is expatriation. Now, let's understand this expatriation, and the very first thing that we need to know is just a revision which we already did in terms of PCN, HCN, and DCN. So I hope you people are still having this uh, thought or this clear idea about PCN that is your parent country national, HCN that is your host country national and TCN the third country national. Now you have already like I have just put up the on the slide about PCN, HCN, TCN because we have already discussed this in an elaborated manner. So let's move and let's understand what exactly expatriation is. This expatriation it's, it's all about a process. Now what process? I as an individual, me going to another country and working over there. I am leaving my country behind, my people behind, my, my social setup behind, everyone behind. So this whole process, the simplest thing, the whole process of moving from one country to another or leaving your home country so that you can go and settle out in the another country, you are talking about Exactly, expatriation. So the person who is moving is termed as expatriate. How do you remember this expatriation? The simplest thing, I am moving out of my own place, my own country, I am an expatriate. So just keep in mind that the simplest logic or, or the simplest idea of understanding this expatriation would be knowing that I am leaving the boundary of my country. Now. Let's understand this whole expatriation. What are the reasons why a company is investing so much in terms of moving, picking you up from your place and sending you abroad, say Germany, Switzerland, Belgium, or for that matter of sake, any place in US continent, US, UK, or around the globe. Why is company doing this? Why is company willing to spend so much of time? The idea remains, I have got certain reasons behind it. Let's see, I have put up the points on the slide as well. Let's see what are these reasons. So we talk about the recruitment process, like giving you a very brief about this whole thing. At times, the people over here are more valuable than the people who are working over in the another country. Now, how do I say this statement? Simplest thing, if I'm an MNC, I have got an office in say, uh, Germany. Now, I can very well take the local help, the local people over there. But then my Indian people, knowing how my company works, being an Indian company, would know it better how to run the company and how to take the decisions. And I am very much used to my Indian technique. So why not pick up my people and move them in another country? Same way, at times this cultural difference, that is, we talking about PCN, HCN and TCN, Many a times this cultural difference is not acceptable. The people over there, they are not able to gel up with the parent country people. So why not bring in my own people? At times the cost factor, it also matters. Maybe if I am going and starting an office in US, that would cost me more in comparison to the company, the people who are there from here. So the localites might charge me in dollars, my Indian people would charge me in rupees. So it's still a cheaper deal for me. So there are such kind of reasons as well which becomes like a, a criteria or a particular factor for expatriation. I I hope this would have given a bit of picture and a clear understanding. Let's see what are the whole factors that actually uh, say help me select the expatriate. Now 
it's not like that i just with in the screen i i happen to tell you that okay i am moving you to america you would be jumping from your seat i told you earlier but then in this whole case i am supposed to understand are you suitable what if you have got an ailing mother at home and then if i if i spend a lot of money on your training and everything and then suddenly after a certain point of time you become homesick and you would want to come back home and then you are like okay i'm resigning and i'm coming back to my place in this case you would resign but then the problem is i am going to lose the lose the cost so how do i decide what factors and suddenly imagine uh, i have given you some work you are able to do it over here because you get help from help from your friends but the moment you go there you don't have any other to help you or support you so what do you do do you feel doing it so i need to see if you as an individual do you have that technical capability do you have that uh, say family support do you have that uh, partner who is supporting you or who don't put up their career at stake do you have that uh, cultural acceptability that you can go out and settle over there in another country do you have that flexibility to absorb the change and only when i know that you can do this i am going to approach you for the expatriation process so in this case when you talk about understanding expatriation for your exam sake i would tell you just remember like this that the whole ihrm or whole hrm in global perspective it's talking about having individuals knowing them understanding if they are going to get suitably adjusted in another country and then picking them paying them the right amount the way we have studied the compensation fund and moving them from one country to another hope the meaning of expatriation was clear enough thank you for listening